All right, there are two other things you should note about functions. The first is, if you're familiar with CoffeeScript, they support the exact same syntax for one line functions. So if your function is like these, where they only have one line, you can actually do the whole arrow syntax, right, like that. So I'll stretch it out a little bit here so you can see. So that is a valid function definition and execution, right? So I execute it like this, but again, it's one liner. So to give you another shorthand version. So the problem you'll have with the single is that you can't really easily return something from it. You can't put a con uh, statement there. You can only put a con um, an expression. So for example, if you want to print the number, you can say print numbers, right? Then you could put the void print numbers. The end first, the end second. Right, then put the expression print out first. Right, you can also do it like that. So you can still do the single line expression. It's just the problem is as soon as you start trying to return values, it doesn't really work out well because a statement, right? When you're adding a first and a second, right? So that, it doesn't really like that much. So again, you should break those kind of out. But if you're just doing simple things or simple operations, do that, okay? Last thing to note. Dart functions are treated just as normal first class objects. So what that means is, is that you can take, let's say, an arbitrary array of, of let's say, names. Let's say, let's just make it dynamic, okay? Let's say names, Jesse, Bruce, Cheese. Okay, and then, actually, not Cheese, Cheech. Then what you can do is say names for each, Print name, and we make a print name function, which gets an arbitrary value. We don't even know what it is. Name, yo. Right? And when you run this, it'll print out the names in a normal iterated fashion, right? So you can treat the, the functions as normal objects as well, the return values, with or without strict type.